This is a set of uh, beads and a, a nausea style uh, necklace here. The beads are handmade. Kajisba Hubbard made these. They're all completely handmade. What she does is she takes a block of steel that has a, an indent in it and then the the upper part, the male part, is about that long, about as big around as my finger and it fits in, it's domed on the the bottom and it fits right exactly into that steel block with the indent. She takes sterling silver, cuts out a dome, a, a part around, uh, which is about three sixteenths or three eighths, I'm sorry, puts it on that, uh, or drills out a center, right in the center of it, and takes that, puts it right on that steel and daps it into that steel. So the male and the female part come together, you get that domed part with a hole in it, and then she does another one and solders them together. So this is actually very time consuming to do something like this, this necklace here. Uh, they call them Navajo pearls. They're completely sterling silver. And uh, then Calvin Martinez did the, the nausea. We call it a nausea. We believe actually that the design came from the, from the Spanish who got it from the Egyptians. They traveled the world. And when they came here, they brought this with them and they taught a lot of the Navajo silversmiths how to do the, the craft. And so basically what they believe, what the historians believe, is it's a, the hands of a goddess, a protection uh, device. What the Navajo believe is that it is, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow form and it guards and protects. Calvin has put a really nice bale on it so you can use this on beads like this or uh, any kind of chain, any kind of a necklace that will slip through and you can hang it off of. But Calvin, this looks very simple, but it's pretty detailed. You can see that his design is crisp, it's clean. You, uh, something like this, to complete it in this kind of fashion, takes a lot of time and effort because you're, you're working on cleanliness and, and really even smooth design. Your solders have your soldering has to be perfect. Your your cuts and your filings have to be spot on, and that's what gives it that real crisp, clean look. Um, what happens here with both of these sets is these artists have polished them up very bright, and then what they've done is taken steel wool, like triple lot steel wool, and just brushed them. So it has a brushed finish, and it gives it that antique look. They are contemporary pieces, but they have that antique look to them. They're heavy, they're well made, they're not the light silver you see so much nowadays. It's substantial and that's the way it really should be. Something like this needs to last from now on and with this type of weight and durability it really will.